Hey guys, welcome back. I know that it's been a while, but I'm finally back for the summer now and I'm going to be able to get some more work done on the speedster here. I'm really going to try to push over the next couple months to try to get this thing as far along as I can. And one thing that I realized though is as I was sorting out the seat area and getting that nice and comfortable, I realized that the steering wheel takes up a lot of room in here. Once you're sitting in it, it's fine, but getting in and out, um, the steering wheel can really just get in the way because it takes up um, so much room there and it's so close to, to your legs. So what I decided to do was to actually make this a removable steering wheel. Um, I wouldn't really call it a quick release like you see on a lot of you know race cars and stuff nowadays, but how it works is it's got this little wing nut style piece on the front here that just unscrews in a couple seconds just like that and then steering wheel comes right off. And it's got the lugs there on the back that match up to the same lugs on the steering column. And then it locks on just like that. So you can, when you're getting in and out, you can take the steering wheel off just like that uh, to make it a lot easier. Uh, this was a really fun little project, a little bit of machining, some welding, and some more just general fabrication. These are the kind of like details that, to me, is the most fun part about this project. So enjoy the video. Okay, so you can see here I've made these two um, interlocking couplers here. The idea of this is that one of them, like this, mounts to the end of the steering column, and the other one mounts to uh, the steering wheel, and then you attach them like that and they interlock. And the fitment here is, isn't is terrible, but it's also not great. You can see there's some, some slop on here. And ideally, I don't want there to be any play like that. And you can see it's a pretty even spacing, even gap like at each lug there. So I think what I'm going to try to do is I'll take one of these out and try to build up a little bit of weld here very delicately on the on one face of this, this lug here. And then kind of gradually machine that and file that back down. And then I can kind of fit each lug individually, each tooth, and make sure that they, they fit nice and tight.
right, so now, as you can see here, I've welded a little bit and then filed it down onto each one of these lugs here. And now, it fits in really, really nicely. You can see it slides right on there. No play at all. And you really just like, can't even tell that it was ever, you know, welded on there and then, then adjusted like that. Um, but I'm really, really happy with, with that fitment now.
All right, so you can see here's the finished setup now. I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. I love the look of these, these little flanges here on the, the wing nut piece. It screws right off. It can really, you can really tighten this on there if you want to, and then kind of use the spokes of the steering wheel as a little bit of leverage to, uh, to get this thing unstuck like that. But then it screws right off. You can see it has this groove here in the back to give clearance for the heads of the screws here, so that's no issue at all. A little bit of grease on there too helps it from, you know, sticking and trying to seize itself on there. But then the steering wheel just slides right off. Um, it's got those lugs on the back there with the matching lugs on the column. And like this thing slides on so nicely, like even just like that there's there's no play between the column and the steering wheel, at least none that I can notice. And then this screws right back on to tighten it all up. So yeah, I'm really happy with how that turned out. I think it looks fantastic there in the, in the cockpit of the car here. Um, and I'm really excited about getting this thing moving along. The steering is done now. I had to, I had to go through the, the couple steering columns in there as well. I had a couple U-joints that I hadn't really assembled in the best way in the past, but it's good now. It's all nice and solid and ready to move on to the next thing. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.